Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project, day four on this butcher's block. It's become, what's it become, Ollie? It's more than a job now. It's, it's, uh, it's a lifestyle now. It's, it? it's a lifestyle. So, we'll be able to show you the block in a moment. What we need to do is to route it flat. Is that right, it, mate? Yeah, we've got to level it. So, we have actually got a built, a purpose built jig, which I will hand you over to Ollie and he will tell you what the crack is. Okay then, Ollie, another Heath Robinson, British engine. <laughs> what we got, mate? Yeah, I mean, this one's going to be a little bit better than Heath Robinson, actually. It's, um, I mean, obviously, you know, jigs like this don't come off a shelf. If you want, if you want a purpose-made router levelling jig, you've got to make it. Yeah. Um, now, being as we've got plenty of steel and, um, and ways to fasten steel uh, in this workshop, rather than try and knock up a wooden jig, we'll make up a... Uh, Something a bit more solid, something that's not going to go anywhere. So uh, I haven't really got any clamps that are long enough to fasten this down to the bench. And I'd, I don't want this to move. Um, you know, we, I can have this left up for other jobs or whatever afterwards anyway. So what we'll do is just um, we'll weld this down now so it's not going anywhere. Okay then, Ollie, do you want to talk us through this wonderful thing you've built? So to level this block, there isn't really an off-the-shelf solution to this. Um, you can put it through a sander, you can put it through a thicknesser, if, if you know what you're doing with it. Um, but with this block, with all the, um, the blocks all coming out the original piece, slightly different lengths, it's got a, a very uneven top. So this is the most efficient, safest way of doing it. and. What will be left with afterwards will be a superb level finish. And obviously, you cannot buy this off the shelf. No. So, essentially, we've got um, we've got a set of rails, X and Y rails. Um, we can run this back and forward this way with a block underneath, and push it this way, which um, gives us. <laughs> what we need. <laughs> what we need. But you've, you've, you've just pretty much, as they all see, knocked this up, haven't you? Yeah, so... <laughs> Cut the steel tubings, the verts, the and then put these cross sections on, and obviously this is your patented <laughs> <laughs> router jig. Well, this is just my, my way of doing it. I mean, you can, you can make, do this out of bits of wood and whatnot yeah. to, to make it work. We, we're quite high up here because of the size of the block, mm. um, and, and these routers aren't light either. So this is, this is the strongest way I've found of doing it and, yeah. it, and it works really nicely. So all that remains then is to get the block under that and let's start revealing. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mate. I can't wait for this. <laughs> After all that hard work, this is what we've got left to do, is skim the top off this block. Do you want to say anything about this? So yeah, far? so, you know, as, as you know, the. The blocks, in, the blocks that came off the board originally, they're all a diff different length. It was quite higgledy-piggledy underneath. So we've got it flat in the clamps underneath. So that sits lovely on there. But we've got a lot, of, a lot to chop off here. As I said earlier, this is, this is too much for any machine to do, any other machine to do. If you put this through a sanding machine, it will take all day. If you put it through a thicknesser, well, I wouldn't want to do that. No, you're gonna, you'll, probably, you'll probably end up flipping the machine. Yeah. Um, so, so really, this is, this is the most efficient way of doing it. I mean, you see this a lot used on, um, you know, when, when you've got massive sort of live oak worktops yeah, and that yeah. sort of thing. It's, it's a really efficient way of actually levelling it. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do now. I can't tell you how excited I am for this. When we, we'll see all those colours come through now, won't we? Uh, like you say, it's just like a bit funky on top now, <laughs> all different heights and a bit of glue. Yeah, and we start stripping this away. It's this this will this will be you know this will have a lovely little wipe to it as as you as you watch it on screen. It will it will come out come out beautifully. Right, mate. Let's do this. Yeah. 
You've got a bit of gap now, I think, between the rail, you know, this yeah, part Yeah, sure. So as long as you don't get it too close, it doesn't, because the danger is, if it pulls up like that, it'll yeah. it might climb up. Yeah. And then we'll, yeah. So we just want to keep some weight on it then, really. We don't need to keep any weight on it, it's just when we're going across, we need to just make sure we're yeah. going across evenly, it's not yeah. going to skew with. Right, so we start from this end. Right then, Ollie, the moment of truth, the moment I've been itching for as you've been crawling all over this. How is this going to work, mate? We've got this tight in the, in the, in the frame now at the bottom. Um, what you didn't see is we've referenced this bottom face against the top, so, you know, we can't, we can't just rely on, you know, all these surfaces to be level. And it's important to get that right first. So if you're doing this at home, if you're making jigs up, get that face referenced first. Don't just assume your bench is level. You can see it's a few mil out either end, so it's you know it's a good job we did it. Mm. The other thing as well is as we push this router back and forward, we're going to tear out the backs the back here. Okay, so some of this wood's going to come flying off. Um, it will leave a tatty edge. So this is why we don't trim this up at this stage. It means we can just trim that tatty edge off. We've got a yeah. nice face here, so that'll be fine there. This way, it's all sticking out and uneven where we've sort of where we've had to set it and get it how looking how we want. That's fine because it means that will just. That will waste away and we won't have any have any issues there. Right, we're going gently to start with. So yeah. Okay. Stand by your beds. Are you ready? Yeah. Another one? Yeah. That's like that. that is amazing. I think that's, that looks like a screw hole. I love that. This purple heart there, mate, and these blocks. It's just amazing. It's gorgeous. That's the... Uh, yeah, what are they? Uh, so that's a Roco. A Roco, yeah. Um, some of these bits are the cathedral oak. So the Worcester Cathedral, I'll put a picture up. This oak has come out of there, where was it? Yeah, so in, in the Cathedral Tower, um, they're, they're, they're replacing all the, all the old treads because they are completely dilapidated. Yeah. Um, so these, the, the, the wood that these have come from, which, which was destined for a scrap bin actually, but we, we thought, well, we'll, we'll, we'll hand plane it up and, and get it usable. Yeah. And it's had, it's had monks walking up and down it. It's, it's, it's had me walking up and down it when I used to go up there as a kid yeah. then. Yeah, and I think he's had the Queen walking really? up and down it. Um, you know, bear in mind because I mean, this would have seen both world wars. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, they'd have they'd have used the tower for for various sort of spotting and yeah, observation. observation. You know, yeah. it's had so much history in that in those bits of oak. And this beautiful thing here, this in the middle, what is that, Ollie? So that's, that's purple heart. In the heart that's of the block. A, that's right. 
yeah once once that's polished up it will go it'll go a very sort of blacky purple color um i think yeah yeah I think that's gonna be pretty srp those look at the joins though mate are you happy with them yeah look, they just look so straight it they? is unbelievable so flip this over how many times are you going to go over on the bottom? Um, so I think this might may, maybe the bottom. I know I know some really? of these have been orientated. So yeah. That, um, so the screw holes were at the bottom. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like on the other side. Um, I also want to polish this up. <laughs> oh, it's going to look good. And you see, it's um, one sort of defining factor of the quality of oak is, is how well it's a, it, you know handles being routed like this. Yeah. So you see, there's bits of tear out in it, and mm. then in some places it's just almost polished smooth. I mean that's. Looking at looking at one of the comments yesterday it made me smile about how you know this is mass produced junk you know yeah I mean it's hand produced junk yeah but um, it's it my was. junk it, it was hand produced yeah, junk but this this will go everywhere you know this will be with me for life you know yeah. I'll take it to shows this is just awesome and I can now see when you said about orientating 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 those <laughs> faces yeah orienteering <laughs> those grains i mean i just love that one in there yeah here you know that there it's like a little sunburst yeah yeah i mean so, some of that's really nice quality oak actually it's beautiful it's um it, you know we did we did right in saving it we did good so. should we flip it then and uh, and then we can choose our yeah. face i suppose yeah yeah you get you get bits of tear out in it as well in yeah. places so, i mean you can see a bit of tear out in there but that was um some of it was sand um what i I don't, I don't go to town and getting that out because, because actually, when you, I mean, especially for, for you know how we want this to look, when we, when we oil and wax this, yeah, the wax kind of sits in some of those little, little bits, fills mm. them up nicely, and you get a real sort of aged look to it. You know, you can, you, you know, you just can't, you can't make it up really. It's, um, I can't wait. It's a real nice way of actually making it look like it was there forever. Beautiful. Right, let's do this, mate. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, shall we lift? What do you want to do? Yeah, fine. That's it. Can I lift it out? Okay. It would be nice if we can kind of stuff it back down. Mm. The other put Hoover in there, actually. That would be really nice and flat. Okay, so Ollie's just setting up the fence on the bandsaw. Just have a look at this. How beautiful does it look? So we're just gonna square it up now. So he's just gonna run it through both sides so it comes out nice and square. So I'm just making Ollie a brew because he's just had a bit of a sulk because it was one millimeter off square and there's me, Mr. Impatient. I want it done like yesterday, didn't I, mate? But a, a brew, we've settled our differences. Yeah, I know. He's given me the your mug, so yeah. you know. Oh. We've, we've, shook, we've shook hands <laughs> and I think, I think we're friends again now. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to get him sanding it. So where are we, mate? Look at it. It's a beauty, isn't it? Isn't it? Just. Is that that, that, isn't that thing that should have gone on the fire, is it? That scrap? Yeah. Yeah, that um, what handmade piece of junk, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just have a look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, God, I've got to do that, haven't I? I mean, we've left, we've left some of the original joints in there, so um, I kind of wish we hadn't now. But, uh, see is one of them there. Uh, I mean, look at the difference. We've got fantastic tight joints, you know, just almost seamless joints. Um, and 
and then and that's what we had before you think the whole board was made up of this before and the only reason we kept these couple of joints was because they were the best out of the lot so you know you had to be yeah, done didn't it Ah, oh, the wonderful thing about tiggers is tingers, tiggers, tinkers, tinkers are wonderful <laughs> things. <laughs> so we're on to the sanding, mate, yeah? That's it, yeah, let's go for it. My mate. <laughs> okay, mate. So if you push a little bit lower down. Yeah. That's it, that's perfect. Well, actually. Not far off. Getting there. Push. So the next job, we're going to do the round over. Now this is a bit I don't particularly enjoy because it's a, it's a bit of a delicate operation. We can sit the we can sit the router on here, but essentially it has got to be done freehand. Yeah. If you've got a spindle molder or a router table, you can do it on that. It's quite a heavy block though, so you might find this is the easiest way of doing it, but. Let's give it a go, shall we? Go for it, mate. I have 110% faith in you. Headphones. Headphones. That's not too bad, that's just broken the edge now, so that's nice. I think you see I had a few wobbles at the back there. Yeah. You just gotta find your way over this. Is every time I do this, it's like a little bit of it's just a little bit of teething troubles. Get those out of sure. the way on a real low setting so you're not biting in deep yeah. and then have a wobble because then it Have you got to like point. change the tool in that now to round? Or no, is no, that I, the tool what I can do there? is just lower that down now. And it'll and that start will, um, as making the deeper the I go over yeah. So I don't wanna just go straight over in one pass. Yeah. Just yeah. Try and, Try and get it in a couple. There might be a few delicate edges here where you've got like a bit of funky wooden things. So yeah. I don't really want to risk it pulling out. Normally you'd route in the opposite direction as well. Yeah. When when you're working with end grain, this anti-clockwise way mm. works quite nice. It's yeah. Cool. You do know this is killing me because I'm impatient. <laughs> What an amazing tool. I mean, you're literally dancing that round that block, aren't you? Yeah, it's running on a it's running on a bearing underneath, so so it's a bit it's fairly forgiving, but yeah. when you when you when you're at its at its deepest, yeah. you just go you don't want that top bit to end up digging in, so that's when you've got to be the most So careful. that's what it's riding on then there. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So that's as, that's as deep as I can go on the bed I've got in there. Um, I think that's I think that's going to be quite right. Perfect. We we want we want a bit of depth in the edges here, don't we? Yeah, Start. yeah, so yeah. So I think that'll be that'll be lovely. It feels lovely. There's a bit of burning on there. That's that normally happens. Um, that will sand out. It's not deep, so we'll get that all out for sander. Um, I get asked a lot when I'm when I'm making the thinner boards. You know, can we have the blood grooves in there and that sort of thing? Personally, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, I mean, a it's a flipping pain to yeah. to clean out when you do get a bit of burn in there. Yeah. Um, but um, but also you get like the you know you get fluids and things sitting in the board, which isn't going to do it any good no. when it's sitting there. No. But but having just a round over like that, I it's love perfect. that. Perfect. Leave it like that. Nothing fancy. Love it. I absolutely love it. Can we sand it now? We've got to do the other side yet. Yeah? Do the same on the other side and then. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sand again. You got it. It's, it's best to do it. Yeah. Because um, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be easier as that sit in the frame? Does well, it have to be as deep? As nice as that. Sometimes having an edge is. Yeah. It's quite fragile. Your chip. Okay. Um, you know, having that safe now. I mean, as if you do knock it a little bit, it's not. Yeah. Gonna, it's not going to break a bit off or anything like that. Are you? But the frame will that work in the frame nicely. Like yeah. That, so yeah. Okay. Let's go round again. Yeah. I just want to say to Andy Morley, I got your message. Hope you get better soon, mate. Uh, and I'll keep on keeping on, brother. Rock on. Well, my friends, you've got to admit that in its raw state now is looking amazing. We are now going to sand it. No green tools here. Keep it old school. And we're going to sand this off and then massage some oil into it. But, you know, I'm, I, I'm lost for words, it just looks... It's sexual. I mean, you know, for me, I see, I see these a lot. This stage, it doesn't do it for me anymore, I'm afraid. No. You know, this still looks, you know, still punky old wood at the moment. But well, I'm a bit cleaned up, yeah. But once, once, we stick, once we've got a bit of sandpaper on that, and then when it goes in the oil bath, mate, it's just going to change. It's, it's going to pop so nicely. <sighs> right. First job, I'm going to get the random orbit on it. Um, you've got to, it's a bit forgiving, this. It's not going to dig holes like a belt sander would, but you still got to kind of play carefully with it. We don't want to be standing, hanging around one spot for too long. No. Um, but really now, we've got to sort of cover every, every area. Um, best thing to do on the top is get it down until we've lost a lot of uh, that tear out. Yeah. And then we just work through the grits. So, so we'll go 80, 120. Um, 240. If you've got 180, you can do that in between, but we'll finish at 240. Remember, we still kind of want to use this block. Yeah, no yeah. Point for going for a glass finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's got to be functional. And I kind of like, if you were to just take the edge off that, that to me is butcher block yeah. style You know, if, yeah. like you say, well, we'll we don't take, want glass, glass we'll finish. Take, we'll take those edges off by hand. Yeah. That'll, that'll come off nicely with the paper. Cool. Okay, let's see it in action. It just feels like glass. It's just nuts. Okay, just have a look at it, Ollie, from where we started. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a different piece of wood. Actually, I'll put up a little pick now. Check this pick out. Safe to say. It's been reborn, big time. I mean, the finish. It's going to be called the Purple Heart Block. Yeah, that's what it's going to be known as, the Purple Heart Block. All sanded. I mean, that's like glass. I mean, you, you wouldn't believe it was the same piece, would no, you? No. I mean, this, this section through here, some of it is, some of it isn't. You know, this is our little... Oh, yeah, little yeah. Special bit we but this is all off the old block. All we're going to do now is dip it. And... It, all day I've been wanting to do this. This, this is the moment. This yeah. Is I, this is what I, yeah, I've been looking forward to. Should we just do it? Yeah, let's just get on and do it. Let's chuck it in. Cool. Okay. This is like four or five days work. Yeah. A lot of ox tongue sandwiches. A lot <laughs> a, of crisps. A lot of crisps. A falling out over one mil. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, I don't want to say it's been plain sailing because it ain't. It, no, but, no, it's a... Uh, it's, it's been a bit of a graft in there, hasn't it, actually? Mm. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling it. There's so much sanding and so, it, many, so many late nights gluing up. And obviously, in my head, when I sent you that video, it was like, yeah, Ollie, just knock this apart and glue it back together. Yeah. And it can't, it, it, like, within two days in, it becomes more than, it, it's a lifestyle. It's a labour of love. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you've got to see it through to the end. So without further ado, shall we just do it? Pour yeah, it. Let's go for it. And let it just come alive. It's alive! So we're using mineral oil here. Now, any of you buy mineral oil, mineral, mineral oil for your blocks on Amazon? I mean, I've paid up to eight pounds for just 500 mil, half a litre. Ollie, five litres is 20 quid from? Um, yeah, it's about 20, 25 quid, something like that. Lynx, Lynx products. Lynx products is yep. the one. Get on Amazon or eBay and have a look for them. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that is fantastic. Um, oh, I mean, I will never pay that again. That, that's just phenomenal money, isn't it? So, have a look at it. Look at the colours just coming now here. Do we fettle it? Do we massage it? Oh, give it a give it a bit of a rub, yeah. Give it a bit of a rub. Yeah. Do you want to do that on me? Yeah, go on. You put your hands in there. <laughs> Have a look at it. Oh my God. That band, look. So purple heart. Run them through me, Ollie. Uh, a roco. So we've got a roco on the edges. Yeah. Um, then we've got a little uh, little double section of the original oak here. Back to a roco. The here. Worcester Cathedral oak. That's it. We've got a cathedral oak. More uh, roco. Okay. That's the original wood. And yep. then. A bit of purple heart again. Purple heart. The purple heart block with a purple heart. Mate, this is just outstanding. Don't forget, we've got some maple in the corner here as well. I've got a little token maple. That's what we're going to... I'm only going to cut on that bit. If the point of my knife goes anywhere, it's got to be in there, yeah? That's it, yeah. Yeah, that's the only hygienic <laughs> thing in the board, <laughs> Stunning, mate. Absolutely stunning. So, I mean, when, when we're soaking this now, um, you know, I'd, I'd give it five minutes on each side, let it dry off, maybe give it the same again later on. Um, and then this evening, give it a, give it a bit of a wax in. Because you, know, you enjoy it. The wood was really dry, but that's yeah. helped us here because yeah. it just makes those colours pop now. It'll suck up this. It'll suck up this fast. That's just awesome, mate. Okay, mate. She's had her bath. We've massaged her. It's looking something else, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, I'm just lost for words of it now. And then after five days work, sweat, tears, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but a lot, a lot of time, that's the finished thing. But it's not finished there, is it? We've got plans yet. We're going to put some decorative bands around the edges yeah. to pull it tight. And, well, you've, uh, got a, you've got a working block now. You've got something you can put on the worktop and, um, and use, and, and I hope you do use it. We will. Um, and I'm going to give you a pot of wax, which you can sort of, you can lovingly rub into it on the evening. Um, With some nice music on or something? <laughs> well, I would, yeah. I'd light, I, light a candle and, yeah. yeah. Do I have a cigarette after? Uh, you probably need a few, I just thought, yeah. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, this, this is the first part of, of what is going to be well, a... Well, the full remit was a full... Re yeah. It's back on a stand, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Yeah, so this is, this is kind of just the beginning now. Um, and the stand, you know, you've seen me. Uh, you've seen me try my hand at woodwork. You know, you've seen. You see. You've seen Scott's uh, Scott's joint, jointing skills. Um, now you're going to see a bit of metal work next. Yeah. But, but you'll have to wait for that. Yeah. So stick with us, but just enjoy that, mate. Thanks for that. Absolutely no awesome, brother. Right, I can take it home now. Are you going to be all right with that? <laughs> You're not going to ring me at one in the morning crying saying, oh, well, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to need some photos fairly soon, I think. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just a stellar job, dude. Uh, above and beyond my expectations. I knew you were the king. Uh, I mean, that, that's proper woodworking. That's top woodworking. I don't care what anybody says. It just looks beautiful. Yeah. I may yeah. never use it. I might just use it to write off. And, and the lovely thing is, you know, it's, it's not going to look like a brand new worktop either. It's, no. You got. A, I mean, I love this bit here. It's just brilliant. You got a it's screw hole. You got a screw hole. It's got the thread still in it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got some of the older, the older woods have torn out a little bit. They're going to fill up with wax, and they're going to look. They're going to look aged before. Yeah, you yeah, know, well, yeah. before, you know, they're going to look fantastic. Um, you have got some of the original joints, which, which we were just laughing about. You know, the original gap. The original joints are massive, but you know, a bit of oil on them, and they've shone up lovely. Actually, they've kind of. Well, it's like you were saying. You know, at the time. Uh, joints big enough to fall down. <laughs> well, there's the uh, an original joint, and here's one of your. Well, where, you know. So, but it all adds to the character. Yeah. This yeah. is the purple art block, baby. And you were part of its birth. Now I'm going to get the car run and put it in and go before you change your mind. <laughs> we stroke it one last time. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. <laughs>